we're back to some basic today with replicating if and or in Power Query. Let's go. So I'm going to use some fake data for this exercise. Um, you can download it from our Access Analytic uh, free templates and add-ins. All sorts of useful things in here like Power Query Calendar, Timetable, and some dummy data sets. So I'm using the fake people data dummy set from this section. I'll put a link in the notes. Okay, so here's the fake data. Well, I'm gonna give it a name. So uh, under table design, you go to table name. I'm using tables so often, I actually right click on here and add it to the toolbar. So my little name box is sitting here and I'm gonna call it, I don't know, people data. Then data from table slash range or from sheet, if that's what it says in your new version. So I'm gonna click on that and it'll suck this table into Power Query. So here's my data. Um, I only need this blood type and this kilograms for this demonstration. This birthday, look, it's just annoying me. So I'm actually, even though I don't need that, I'm just gonna show you quickly how you fix it. It's in US date format. So I'm just gonna click on the ABC123 go to locale using locale okay and you tell power query what format the source is in so it's the source is in us format so i want to turn it into a date and it's actually under english united states there we go that's the source format and if i click okay there it is now that's not even the purpose of this video but that sort of thing annoys me so um right i actually i'm just going to keep these two columns so right click, remove other columns. Okay, first thing, a simple little if formula. So if the weight is let's say less than 60 kilos, we'll say light. If the weight is less than 70 kilos, medium, else heavy. Okay. So to do that, there's a nice little conditional column button. So you go add column, conditional column, and you do it really quickly, you can say sort of, you know, group. Um, so if the kilograms is less than, or maybe less than or equal to 60, we'll put the word light. You can then add as many different can, is, else ifs as you want. Kilograms, okay, 70, then medium. Really handy, really useful. And then in the else box, everything else. Okay, light, medium, and heavy. Nice and simple. Okay. Next one. What about if you want to do the weight between? So categorize things between, say, 60 and 70. So it's got to be between 60 and between 70. So you're doing this sort of and function. Um, okay, so basically under the add column, you have to go to custom column. This is where you can freehand your formulas. And we'll call this between using and. Right, so when you're writing an if formula in Power Query, so using the M language, this is what this language is called, it stands for mashup. You type if lowercase, that catches out Excel users. You can then double click on the kilograms, okay, is less, sorry, is greater than or equal to 60 and Okay, the kilograms is, is less than or equal to 70. Then, then we'll just put a flag else. We'll put the word okay, yeah, in double quotes. So if it's between those two, great, click okay. So flag 64, okay, 72, flag again, 61. Okay, 55 is okay, so it's working. Beautiful. Okay, last one. So what if we wanna say the blood group is O positive or O negative, then we're just gonna grab them as the O group, else we'll actually return the blood type. So we'll go custom column, call it the O group, and we'll say if the blood type equals and then O positive, okay, or 
blood type equals O negative. So that's how you do your or. Then O group else. Uh, we'll just return the actual blood group itself. Blood type, there you go, blood type. Click OK. So there we go, there's the O groups. And if I just put a filter, say, on the O groups then, you'll see that there's some O positives and there should be, yep, there they are, there's some O negatives. So there we go, that's how you do ifs, ands, ors. Hope you find it useful. Please subscribe, let people know, and I'll catch you later.